Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to really quickly show you in Windows how to schedule Python code. So let's say you've written some kind of piece of Python code and you would like it to run every hour or every day, every week, every month. How do you do that? The applications really speak for themselves, but just for example, if you've written some kind of sophisticated stock trading code and you want to run it every day to see which stocks you should buy and store that result on your computer or email it to yourself, that could be one application of this. So nothing so sophisticated here, just this very simple piece of Python code we're gonna be running every minute. So all it does is opens up a file called timestamps.txt and writes the current date time so we can see if it's working as intended. Now on Windows, there should be a built-in application called Task Scheduler. So go ahead and look for that in your apps and go ahead and open that up. You should see something that looks like this. So you're going to want to create a new task. So in the right pane, go up here, hit Create Task, and I'll walk you through the basic things you need to change to get this to work. All right, so first in the General tab, we're going to go ahead and name it. So I'm just going to call this file Writer to be simple. You can give it a description if you want. Uh, you can also change some things down here. So I'm going to change it to run whether the user is logged in or not, because I want this to work even if the computer is asleep. We're gonna run with the highest privileges and hit hidden. Next, we're gonna go over to the triggers. So the triggers tells you when this task starts and what frequency it runs at. So we're gonna hit a new trigger here. So the time is currently 5.20 p.m. Let's go ahead and start the first instance at 5.25 to give us a little bit of time to finish these settings. So we're gonna start it at 5.25 and we're gonna repeat this task every one minute for a duration of, we're gonna say 15 minutes. Notice you could also put indefinitely if you want to never have this task end. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure it's enabled. Make sure this enabled box is checked below, hit okay, and you've got your trigger ready to go. Go ahead and go to actions next. This is answering the question of what exactly will happen every minute for the next 15 minutes. And we're gonna hit new. Make sure it says start a program. And here you want to go ahead and put the path to the Python file that you want to run every minute or hour or whatever you have set. So that path for me is this, and you also need to populate these two boxes below. They're really, really easy to populate. For The first one is basically just the name of your Python file by itself, and the other one is everything that comes before that name, so the folder or directory where that file is living. Go ahead and click OK, and you're done here. Now go to Conditions. One thing that's checked for default for me is start the task only if the computer is on AC power. I want to uncheck that. I want to start it regardless. I'm also going to check this wake the computer to run the task because I want to run this even if the computer is asleep. And you can also change this. Here it says that start only if the following network is available. So if your Python task relies on an internet connection, for example, you want to send an email, then you would check this to make sure that it's only running if there's an internet connection available. Since my task is really simple, I won't worry about that. The last thing is go to settings, and all of this is really up to you. This is about if what happens if the task fails or if the task is running way too long. I'll just leave these as they are. Click OK. You'll be asked for your computer's password, and you're good to go. So this task has been created. It'll start at 525, and we'll return once it's been running for a little while to make sure that it's working. Okay, so it's been a couple of minutes. Let's see what's in that timestamps.txt file. Uh, so now I'm noticing that I should have put a new line after each one because it's kind of smushed everything together. But if I insert new lines now, then these are the three things that have been written. So notice that it started about two minutes later than the time I wanted. In my experience, sometimes it takes a couple minutes for it's a register that this is a new task that needs to be run, which is fine. So we can see that it ran at 527, it ran again at 528, it ran again at 529, and it's just gonna keep going for the next 10 to 12 minutes. So hopefully you learn in this video how to schedule your own Python tasks, which is honestly a pretty powerful tool in your tool belt in automating all of the really cool code that you're writing. So if you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.